Hey guys, Chris here for Toolman's Guitars and Basses. In today's Guitar Tech Tips, I will show you how to set up a Floyd Rose tremolo. In this series, I want to show you how to fix the most common issues and how to set up your guitars without using too many special tools. In case you enjoy Guitar Tech Tips, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Floating tremolos need a balanced tension on both sides. You have the strings on the top and the tremolo springs at the back. If you change the tuning, the string gauge, or even just the string brand, you will have to readjust the springs. There are two ways to change the amount of pull of the springs. You can adjust the spring mounting claw with these two screws, or you can change the amount of springs. Three springs are normal on floating tramps. If you want slightly more tension from them, you can go for a V shape with the two outer springs. Two springs will give you a really soft tremolo feel, but this will only work if you play really light gauge strings like nines or even eights. That makes staying in tune really hard when palm muting because you detune your strings as soon as you push your hand against the bridge. Four springs will work well for thicker strings often used for lower tunings. The trem arm will have way more resistance and you will probably lose this flutter effect many love about Floyd's. If your floating tremolo leans forward, like on this guitar, you will have to increase the spring tension at the back to pull the tremolo back to be parallel to the body. Make sure to open the locking nut. You will need a 3mm Allen key for all current Schaller, Floyd Rose and Ibanez floating tramps. In a situation like this, I could put in an extra spring, but I don't want to make the tremolo tighter, stiffer. So instead, I will tighten these two screws on the spring claw. It's super important to tune the strings each and every time you adjust the screws. If you forget about that, it will break strings and you will never get the setup right. As soon as the bass plate of the bridge is parallel to the guitar's body, you're good. What if the tremolo leans to the back like this? You will have to do the exact opposite of what I just showed. You will have to decrease the tension of the springs at the back. You can of course loosen the claw screws or for a more radical change, you can try removing one of the springs. If you want to learn about intonation and string action on floating tremolos, we have two awesome videos for you. Check them out in the description box. And now it's time for a test ride. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you have any questions left. Also, I would love to see your recommendations, what you want to see in this format. Don't be afraid of setting up and fixing your guitars yourself. It's time to become your own guitar tech. Future Chris, don't cut. Yeah, Future Chris, use this part for a jump cut. Thank you. <laughs> 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 don't mess this up, boy. <laughs> ah, need you. It's time for a test ride. Silence! <laughs>